Hello and welcome to the channel. In the previous video, we downloaded a data set, transformed it and saved it into a CSV file. In this video, we will be taking that same data, the CSV file and putting that data into a database and after that we will try to read that data from the database itself. Let's start by creating a new workflow. Let's name it to db. All right. We'll start by importing the adult.csv dataset. We can do so by simply dragging this into the workspace. We can press OK and then run it. Now we have here two columns mismatched. We can change this using column renamer. We will change text to race and we will change race to sex. We will run this again. Also, we will find that the column names have hyphen in them. But when we will create the table in the database, it won't accept hyphen as the column names. So let's change that also. We can use the column rename regex node. We will search for the hyphen and replace it with an underscore. We will press OK and we will run it. Alright. Before creating further nodes, let's first start the Postgres cluster. This is running on Debian which is in WSL2. I'll start my Postgres cluster using sudo pgctl cluster 13 main start. I'll enter the password. Alright, we can check the status too. It says server is running. Rest. Also, also we can go into a database. sudo minus u. Postgres is the username and psql. We can list all the available databases. Let's create a database. Adult underscore db. Alright. We can create the table here, but for our convenience, we'll use pg admin. Let's open that. Let's click adult db. We'll click the query tool and we'll create table adult for the columns we can go to our old workflow and we can take the column names from here we'll check the table we'll select all copy this and then we can paste it here. Alright. For the age, it's an integer. For the work class, we can say it is a string. So, Let's write worker, let's say 30. 
copy this this column is an integer this is again education is worker relationship is integer marital status is worker occupation worker number is worker this sex this is integer this is again integer integer this is worker this is worker all right let's run it oh also we have to change this to underscore Let's run it again. We have to remove this comma. All right, the table is created. We can also carry the table. Go to schemas, tables, adult. We can see all rows and it's empty. Let's get back to nine. Close this. Now let's create a connection to the Postgres server. For that, we will use the node Postgres SQL connector. We'll double click it. The host name will be localhost. Port is 5432. Database name is adult underscore db. We'll use username and password. Username is Postgres, password is my password. We'll press OK. We will run this. Alright. Now we'll try to load this data into the table. For that, we'll use the TP loader node. The first input takes the data and the second one takes the connector we'll double click it we'll select the table as adult press ok ok again and we will run this now we can check the table data again let's run the query here we can see we have inserted all the data inside the database all right now there are multiple ways to query the data from the database one way is to use the db query reader node we'll join the connection here we'll double click it we'll insert the table and we can write the SQL query let's say select star from we can evaluate it if it's wrong it will give us some message here and we can press ok and we can run this and here we get all the data from the database we can check the full table by right clicking and going to 9 data table we can close this now another way is to use a db table selector we'll join the connection we'll select the table let's say adult and we will press ok and to this node we will join a db reader node We'll join this here. We'll select these two and run them. We get the same result. All right. Let's try to create some new data from this table and we'll insert that into the database itself. For that, let's try getting the 
average age by occupation for that we can use the db group by node we'll input the table info here we'll double click it we'll group by by education in the aggregation part we'll check the age and we'll go to average we'll press ok and we'll take the db reader node again we'll connect it here we'll select these two and run this again now we get the average age by occupation let's convert the average age to a integer for that we can use double to integer node we'll connect it here double click it the average age is already selected we'll round it press ok and then we can run it again all right we can also change the column name here using column renumber again let's join these two we will rename these to apg underscore h we will press ok we will run this and we get some results now let's create a table in the database for that we can use db table creator we will join the connection here we'll double click we will create a table let's say occupation underscore age for the columns we can add occupation this will be worker we will add another column that will be average underscore age and this will be integer we'll press ok now let's run this we have the table created we can check this here let's refresh this and we have occupation age table here we can query it which is empty for now now let's again use the db loader node this goes here down and this goes as the input we'll double click this table will be occupation underscore age we'll, and then we'll press ok we'll run this and then if we check the database and run the query again we have all the data here